Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm kind of back. I've got a, I got a new controller, but I'm sending it back uh, this week because it's, <laughs> it's already not working properly. So you know what it is. Um, right. Anyway, uh, I will continue the camera settings video if people want it. But for today, I'm just doing a tutorial and today's tutorial is going to be on pinches, Cook's pinches specifically right so i'm gonna go over a few things first so first of all with cook's pinches uh one thing you will have to be able to do is read the ball when it rolls up the wall so you're gonna want the ball to be about at the top of this line so right about where the middle of my car is now you want the ball to be about there um it can you can do it anywhere on the wall but that's just sort of like the easiest place to do it. Uh, the other thing is the speed of the ball. So you want the ball to be going a, a decent speed. You, if you roll it up at a snail's pace, most of the time it's not even gonna reach uh, the point that you need it to. But providing that it does reach that point, you will be able to cook pinch almost consistently every time. And I'm gonna show you the exact method that I use to do it. So, as I said, first thing is you want to be able to roll the ball up the wall. The ball will roll up the wall at multiple points during a game, sometimes after kickoffs and stuff. And it's very easy to then just uh, catch people off guard with a quick pinch. Um, the other thing is the positioning of your car whilst you're going for the pinch. So, I've, I've experimented a lot with pinches, uh, Cook's pinches especially. And there's a few different methods that I have that seem to work pretty consistently. Uh, so the first thing that, that I practiced a lot that got me really cons like more consistent with it, I'd say, uh, is being completely sideways. So if you approach the ball at a complete sort of like angle like that, where you, the side of your car is going to be making contact with the ball, Uh, it's that's probably one of the best ways to get the pinch so if you look at where I position my car there I didn't position it far enough so we're gonna do it again so I'm gonna pre-position sideways and the pinch so that was the way that I practiced a lot I'm gonna show you a training pack after this as well that I used uh, a lot to get better at them um, yes yeah, it's, it's a very good technique to use the uh the other one is a very similar one but instead of just doing that you sort of try and angle your the corner of your car um so again this does work with any car but you sort of angle the corner towards the ball like that and uh yeah with the first one so I'll go over the first one again so with this you want to be completely sideways and front flip when you reach to the ball so it's gonna look a bit weird um, but when you get there just oh, sorry new control I'm having a hard time controlling my car um, so you want to be completely sideways and then front flip into the ball uh, now you can do this completely sideways so so that the entire front of your car uh, makes contact with the ball Or you can do the similar thing, but with the corner, so that the corner makes contact with the ball. Um, so those are the most consistent ways to do it. The You can actually do it with any kind of uh, flip. So you, you can stall into it, you can no flip into it. Um, yeah, you, can, you, you can do pretty much anything, you don't even have to flip. You don't have to flip if you don't have the flip. But if you don't have a flip, you're going to want to be moving a bit faster. Um, so that one there was with no flip at all. All right. So, I mean, it's pretty easy. It's, you can, as I say, though, you can you can do it with anything. Like, if you can line up a breezy to hit that specific corner, you will hit it. Um, yeah. Anyway, next up, I'm going to show you the training pack. So the training pack that I have... 
is this one here by Aced. The I'll put the code in the description for copy and paste purposes, but it's just there on the right hand side of the screen if you want to note it down now. Uh, 0E995226 5F684804. Uh, and this is going to have four different shots in it. One that's going to have a fairly long timer. So this is the, the 10 second timer. So it doesn't go like if it hits the ground, it's it will still go in. Um, and the next ones are, I think, three second timers. So let me just. Three second timers, yeah. So you do the same thing, essentially. Um, but if the ball hits the ground, then you don't get it. Uh, so I'd recommend this pack to train. I used this one a hell of a lot when I was practicing uh, originally. There we go. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll show you a few with uh, different mechanics like stalling. There we go. So that was with a stall um, and that nearly, nearly went in. It's kind of weird. It doesn't look like I'm stalling because the... Uh, where I'm hitting the wall with such force, it's looking like I'm flipping, but that was a stall one there as well. Um, so you, you can literally do it with anything. It's it's not hard. It's actually pretty easy to do. Uh, the setup is very easy. Um, and just being able to get your car into the right position uh, to do the pinch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... I think I saved a replay where I was... Uh, where I got a Cook's pinch in a private match so i will show you that now and i'll sort of show you the angles and stuff uh that make a difference all right so we'll use this one for an example right now um i haven't used this for ages so apologies uh, it's a little bit scuffed oh All right, so I'm gonna put this in slow motion. All right. Is that five percent speed? That doesn't feel like five percent. There we go. All right. So what you're gonna to want to notice is I'm slightly distanced from the ball. Um, now this is gonna make it a bit easier to position yourself you give yourself enough time to position your car in the correct way uh so that you'll be able to make the pinch effective now what you'll notice is that i jumped a bit early i'm positioning my car as you can see i've made it so that my car is completely sideways so now once i've gotten to closer to the ball so this like I said earlier, it's a good position to have the ball just above the, the line on the curve. Uh, some maps will have like a little, like a banner around there. So it makes it a bit easier to see where you want to do it. Um, but as you can see here, we make connection with the ball and flip into it. Um, now this is a good spot. So you want to be somewhere on the back, sort of like eighth of the ball. Um, if you're further forward, you're going to get sort of like I'll, I'll show a clip in a moment but it's um sort of like you 50 50 the ball against the wall the ball doesn't really move and your car sort of just bounces off um so that's not what you want you want to be a bit further back towards uh your own goal um that way when you pinch the ball on the wall it will only be able to move in this direction okay um yeah, so as you can see here, I am using the corner of my car, um, but you can use the flat side of your car as well. It will have the exact same effect. I mean, you could even do it in, in reverse and do a backflip into it. it, it would pro you could st if you get the positioning right, you'll still be able to score it. Um, so yeah, what when you hit the ball, you want to hit it just below the middle of the ball as well. Um, so if you hit it, or in the middle of the ball, just below or right in the middle. If you hit it higher, it's gonna go down and roll down the curve or bounce. Um, and if you have it lower, it's more than likely gonna go up towards the ceiling. Now, a perfect Cook's pinch, Cook's a pinch is 
where the ball doesn't touch the ground or the ceiling and just goes straight in the net. As you can see here, let's go back to the set speed there. As you can see there, it doesn't touch the ground, doesn't touch the ceiling, just straight into the net. And that was, I believe, around 65 to 70 miles per hour. So it's faster than any of the cars can move in game, uh, which obviously means that you're, if, if no one's in, go, in goal, you will have an advantage and you will, if it's on target, you will most likely score it. Um, so we'll just watch that again at 50% speed and you can see it was what I would consider to be the perfect pinch. Uh, a bit faster would be nice, but essentially a perfect pinch. Okay. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's, that's all I've really got to say about it. It's not the hardest thing to uh, reproduce. I, I did have an, uh, a bit of an argument on Facebook a couple of years ago in a Rocket League group because someone was saying to me that you can't become consistent at Cook's pinches because they're unreliable or it's something that won't always work out the same every time. Um, and this, this was a few years ago and I was stating the fact that you can become consistent at anything as long as you get the technique down. And the other, uh, a little while ago I had one of my friends come to me and say, you're consistent at Cook's pinches how do I do it? And it reminded me of that conversation that I had with someone where they said, you cannot become consistent at Cook's Pinches. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, the moral of that story is never let anyone tell you what you can and can't do. If someone says you can't do something, show them you can. Um, yeah. So it works similarly for ground pinches as well. They are a little bit harder to reproduce because the setup takes a little bit more. Uh, you want to be meeting the ball at the same time as the ball meets the ground. And again, you want to be pinching it with the corner of your car. But it's, I might do another tutorial with that at some point, but it's a lot more difficult to become consistent at. I mean, if you... <laughs> You can uh, go and check out Pulse Fire. He's just, like the ground pinch master. But if you watch his uh, videos where he tries to get a ground pinch of like 150 kilometers per hour or something, you can see there that it takes him quite a few tries still um, for ground pinches. Which, like I said, it's a harder setup. It's harder to actually meet all the requirements for a ground pinch um, to have it come off of the ground and not just roll along the ground. But yeah, like I said, we'll get into that in another video maybe. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it's taught you something. And yeah, that's, that's about it really. I hope you guys have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.